Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash just no mill. In today's episode, my just no mill grabbed my fork out of my hand and told me to stop eating so much. I didn't want to have to say no to a Christmas stay at my house this year, so I booked a trip out of town. Amiel tried to badmouth me to my own mom, but she shut that down. Win. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My Just Namil grabbed my fork out of my hand and told me to stop eating so much. I've had a fairly long history with my boyfriend's mom criticizing my weight, see profile for other post. Today she decided to make a surprise visit to our college campus and take us out to a fancy buffet restaurant for lunch. I've always wanted to try the restaurant so I was trying everything that looked good and getting the most for his mom's money when she eventually grabbed my fork and told me stop eating so much it is embarrassing and you're acting like a pig. I literally felt my heart sink and wanted to cry until my BF came to my rescue and told his mom to stop being a b asterisk tch. He then handed me his fork and brought me another plate of food. Ick how I can continue to be around his mom when every time she sees me she makes a comment about my weight. Her son is the most important person in my life and I want her approval, but she just won't be nice to me. She took you to a buffet so that she would have another opportunity to insult you. If you're forced to be in her presence again, refuse to do anything meal related with her. If they ask why not, tell them it's to stop her from feeling so uncomfortable with your appearance since it seems to trigger her to see you eat. That's what I though too. She had to have picked the buffet knowing everyone tries to get their dollar worth by loading plates and going back several times perfect time to insult OP. Otherwise she would have picked a regular place or one of those places that serves soup by just smearing a bit on a plate and charging $80 for it. Read this very carefully, and THR other comments too. Nothing you do will ever be good enough for this woman. When you've let that sink in, read it again. Exactly. Guarantee if you were skinny she would say some crap like you're too skinny to give me healthy grandbabies. It won't matter what you do or what you look like, no one, except her, will ever be good enough for her baby. Absolutely not one person in that restaurant noticed nor cared about what you were choosing to eat, except her. It must infuriate her to see you breaking the rules she has imposed on herself, that she believes are of the utmost importance. Your entire existence, especially being happy and loved by her son calls her rules of living into question. How many bites of food has she denied herself because she thinks no one could love her if she's not the shape she was when she was 20? How much pleasure has she held herself back from experiencing because she thinks she hasn't earned it? And then there's you, just eating what seems yummy, being loved and defended by her son. What if she denied herself all those years for nothing? Honestly shout out to your boyfriend for getting you more food. That's a husband. Wow. Taking someone to an all-you-can-eat place and then criticizing their food consumption is downright evil. She set you up honey. I bet she picked the restaurant just to have this opportunity. I'm so glad your boyfriend shut her down. You don't have to spend time with her if she can't be civil. You know she absolutely set that up, right? She picked a buffet. Anyway time to never speak to her again. I made a similar comment then saw yours. You are absolutely correct that was purely to embarrass OP. I didn't even think of that. You're absolutely right. Plus it was a surprise visit so she wanted to catch them off guard. This was a setup. You don't treat someone who, in your mind, needs to lose weight, or someone who struggles with food, to an expensive buffet restaurant unless you intend to trigger their disordered eating, quietly judge them, or, as in this case, make a scene about their eating. It is entirely normal behavior to sample a little of everything at an expensive buffet, to go back for seconds, and to overeat somewhat to get your money's worth. She did this on purpose. Don't let her buy you food ever again, she's proven she uses it as a power play to humiliate you.
I didn't want to have to say no to a Christmas stay at my house this year, so I booked a trip out of town. Last year my mill caught me off guard and asked what we had planned for Christmas and I answered honestly and just told her we would just be at home. Then she asked if they could come up and visit, including staying Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. I didn't feel like I could come up with a reason to say no at that exact moment so I said sure. This would have been our first Christmas in our new house. We were first-time home buyers and we were really looking forward to Christmas morning with our kiddos in the new house. We don't have an extra bedroom and their visits either include them displacing a child from their room or them taking up the living room all night, leaving no place for my husband and I to relax together. I decided to tell her that my husband did actually have to work Christmas so they didn't end up coming. We got to have our day as planned and it was absolutely lovely. This year, I wanted to get a head start on planning our holiday. So I booked us a nice stay in the mountains, including Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. When she inevitably calls to ask about this year's visit, I can tell her we have plans. Edit, some have asked how this makes her a just no. I didn't include the history with her because it's just too exhausting to type out honestly. She is a bad guest when she visits and we just don't have the room to host her and she knows that. We don't see her very often and she makes no effort to really be involved in our kids' lives. This post is me ranting and celebrating a small win. You know you don't need to have excuses. It's great. I tell my ML that Christmas and my family will be just us, my husband and I and our kids. One where I don't need to be on and present and perfect. I host every other celebration and I just want one holiday where I don't have to be the person that plans, organizes, cooks, cleans, and brings the joy to everyone else. I want to wear my pajamas all day. I want to eat the foods I want to eat. I want to be present with my kids instead of entertaining adults that have their own notions about how the holiday is supposed to go. I want to experience Christmas without the guilt. She has hated this for the past few years, but I am firm in my expectation. This year she is trying to complicate matters by having her daughter visit and we can stop by, but that will not be happening. Don't tell her where you're going or she'll probably try to invite herself along to that location as well. I'm certain that they can't afford a trip this year so I'm not too worried about that. We hardly ever see them and visits wouldn't be so bad if they stayed in a hotel. We just don't have the room at our house. Exactly what I was thinking. Here's the thing, though, you don't have to book a trip to justify saying we have plans. Having time for just your immediate family at Christmas counts as plans, too. When they ask what you are doing, all you have to say is, we have plans, so that will work for us. What about X instead? You don't have to tell them what your plans are, just, you have plans. Don't jade, justify, argue, defend, explain. Just, we have plans. Always have plans when someone asks what you're doing. We learned that with my brother and Isael who are always looking for last-minute babysitters. I'm definitely starting to try this approach lol. My family is scattered all across the west coast, we are low contact, I am no contact completely, best seven years of my life, with my wife's family. So that means holidays are ours. We stuff our faces, open presents, lay around in our jammies watching holiday films, the missus and I will have some eggnog. It is the best thing ever. It's so relaxing. I do not miss the chaos of running around like a chicken with the head cut off. Holidays are actually enjoyable now. It makes me wonder why more people don't do this lol. The pressure of cooking and going from house to house and making sure everyone is dressed nicely and the anxiety of having to deal with family you don't like, ugh, it's too much. I love our casual, relaxed holidays so much. I'm never going back. Make homemade eggnog, it's so much better than the store-bought version. We've decided to spend Christmas doing our own thing as a small family. Would you like to visit between, insert other dates? Got to ask, where is the just no behavior? MIL asked OP if they had no plans if they could visit. OP wanted to say no, but
but didn't. Isn't this an OP issue and not a just no issue? How is MIL asking a question slash making a request not a legitimate thing? She asked her son's family if they had no Christmas plans if they could join them, she made no demands, nor imposed her will over Opie's family. Now if Opie had responded with no and MIL insisted against Opie's wishes, or argued or turned up anyway, that would make her a just no. But this is not the case. Opie not being assertive enough to say no to a legitimate question from her MIL, does not a just a no make. Hopefully she doesn't invite herself along. Make sure hubby knows to say no if she asks him and don't give him the address. Don't allow them to drive you out of your own home. We are actually very excited for our trip. It just comes with the added bonus of not having to deal with inconsiderate guests in our small space during an intimate time with our kiddos. MIL tried to badmouth me to my own mom, but she shut that down. Win. A few months ago, had a big fiasco with MIL regarding overstepping boundaries. Long story short, she kept kissing the baby even though she's been repeatedly asked not to, which led to a two-week visitation break. MIL has other issues with overstepping boundaries and not respecting our parenting choices so it's not like this is her only issue. Anyways, we recently had breakfast with my in-laws and my parents. My MIL randomly brought up to my mom, ah, I'm not allowed to kiss LO anymore, when I was not around. She's never been allowed to kiss LO. This has been a rule for everyone, not just her, since birth. So I don't know where this anymore is coming from. This happened a month ago and does not involve my mom. Hell, my mom doesn't even know this incident happened, so I don't know why MIL would she bring it up? She probably said that just to garner sympathy from my mom and to show what a mean Dale I am and start a discussion about how unreasonable I am. But, my mom did not side with her or show her any sympathy. She simply doubled down on the reasons why I set the no-kissing rule and moved on. I don't understand why it's so hard for people to get why you don't kiss babies. Not being a parent I don't get it, is it health issue? Not judging just asking. She wanted to see two things, one, do you have the same rules for your mom and two, do you talk about her to others? Really backfired on her. Definite win. S Sneaky much? She wanted your mom to either say I kiss them all the time or I know. We as grandma should be able to kiss them all we want. Kudos to your mom for setting her straight and maintaining your boundaries. Exactly. Why else would she bring that up? It's old new, happened a month ago, and my mom was not a part of that incident, or even knew about it. I love your mom. But seriously what is with MILs trying to talk sh asterisk t to your own family? How exactly do they figure that it would go in their favor? Mine made a weird comment to my mom as well, FLWHRS is great, but you know, there was this one time and gave an expected look like she was waiting for my mom to agree with her or gossip. Well, Mama Bear came out and told MIL up front my daughter is a kind person who loves you and has been nothing but good to you, and you don't deserve it. So before you say anything else, know that she has our entire family behind her and her husband, and if you start SH asterisk T with them you will regret it. I love your mom. Your mom is awesome. I bet she was also checking to see if your mom was allowed to kiss the baby, hoping your mom would be like what? I kiss the baby all the time. Your MIL would be so pissed if your mom came to everything. Mom for the win. She was probably fishing around to see if your mom also has to follow the rules, trying to catch you in a gotcha moment. Agreed. We told her previously that everyone follows this no kissing rule and no other grandparent had problems with it, referring to my FIL and my own parents. She probably thought I was lying and wanted to catch me. But, but even if I were to let my own mom kiss my baby and not my L, it's not her rules to set. Maybe if MIL didn't undermine my parent authority and do things behind my back, I would be more inclined to let her smooch on my baby. If you made it to the end of the video, Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.